You asked fans of Dragon's Tale at this point how they felt going into race two of the Sunstorm GP. Their answer would be nothing less than dissatisfied. But with Dragon's Tale starting in sixth for this race, hopefully their answer will change by the end. Angel will be our pole sitter today, followed by Black Shadow and Ivory. Nitro, the winner of the first Grand Prix here in Glasscar, is pulling up in seventh to start. Certainly jumbled up the place starting in this race. Very different from race one. I couldn't tell you who will take the victory today. Certainly, it's a jumble. Of course, two sectors today. Couple of 90s, then hit that self-propulsion system, shooting up into that second sector, which kind of has a back and forth look to it. Two hairpins, and in between, a bunch of very slight but dirty curves that really mess with these marbles' speed and momentum. We'll see how they handle it. The lights have all lit up, and we are rolling Angel, moving to the right out of the pole center position in Black Shadow. A couple collisions there as they head to the self-propulsion system here in lap one. 27 laps today will account for race two of the Sunstorm GP. Ivory has darted into the lead as we head through lap one. Coming around to that starting gate for the first time. And it is Ivory, Black Shadow right behind, and I think that's Nitro up there in third place. Very good starting for him. And he's all the way up into second. Are we gonna see another run from this competitor? This speed, hungry competitor. Penguin has also darkened the top three. But not before Rattlesnake has something to say about it as he moves around him and grabs third place here in lap two. And lap three is coming up here. Let's take a look at Angel who has dropped back to ninth already. Not the kind of performance that the fans of Angel were expecting, especially after that very fast qualifying lap that she gave. Volcano also suffering down in 12th place. But eyes are really on Dragon's Tail right now. He's in 6th right now overall. Holding that position, so far no changes in his placement really since the beginning of the race. Oh look at that, Rattlesnake darting around. Nitro in Pacifico, oh hit from behind from Penguin and Nitro is actually going to be shot forward but it's certainly he's going to be out of short swords from that. Hopefully no concussions will ensue on the field. Nitro moving on the inside line around Dragon's Tail. Dragon's Tail has jumped into third place now. Will Dragon's Tail be able to turn around from his first performance in race one and come back with a solid win here in race two or at least a top three. Right now it's looking good for him as he is holding that third place position right now. Back in the pack there, Penguin drops down a couple of places as Angel slams into him from behind. And Black Shadow, who started in second overall, is now taking up residence in last place. These marbles have all the speed they need. Those attenuators which have been removed for this race have certainly allowed the marbles more space to move around and gain some more speed and keep things moving along in the race. Those 27 laps will go by so quickly with that new addition. Ivory slowing down, having trouble with those slight curves there, and Nitro keeping in front. Some collision from Ivory, but it only helped Nitro out. You can't let your anger get to you on the course. I know when you get past on the course, your first inclination is let me slam into that racer and knock him off his feet or his marble, you could say. But um, Ivory actually hampered her own situation there, but she recovers back in front and Volcano out of nowhere is now back at the top. We're seeing a similar situation as saw back in the first race. Ivory, Volcano, Nitro, Rattlesnake all at the top. 
Canarium making a jaunt up there as well. And Pacifica starting to drop down. Rock Slide, funny enough, moving his way up. Maybe to balance out that top four as we saw in the previous race. Will it really be four or five marbles dominating the races this time? Black Shadow is down at the bottom and so is Angel and Penguin as per before, but Dragon's Tail moving up a bunch of places there is going to try to say something about that. Volcano is holding that lead above Ivory. And he's moving to the left side around the longer curve. Not really staying towards the inside lane. Maybe more speed is coming from him there. But Rattlesnake, a couple aggressive moves around Ivory. He's going to grab second place and going to try to put a challenge on Volcano. Ivory moving around the outside line, trying to hit Rattlesnake from behind. Rattlesnake now does that to Volcano, hitting him from behind and moving ahead through the propulsion system. How does it come out? Rattlesnake in the lead. Volcano slowing down to a crawl here. Ivory. But look at Dragon's Tail threading the needle between Ivory as she moves back and forth through those curves and through Volcano, taking the inside line. Volcano tries to slam into him from the side, grabs back the lead momentarily. Dragon's Tail, a good move on the inside there, held the lead for a second, but is now slowed down by that outside curve, and Volcano will run away with it here for a moment. Dragon's Tail, certainly a new performance here. The fans of Dragon's Tail are really on the edge of their seat here as he moves back and forth, sometimes up. Will he emerge victorious here? You can see Black Shadow, Rock Slide battling it a little bit there. Not really much speed coming from them at the moment. And Penguin lagging behind in 12th place momentarily. Rattlesnake at the top now. Volcano right behind him. Ivory, Nitro, and Dragon's Tail round out that top five. Eyes are really on Dragon's Tail as Ivory runs into second place here. Is Dragon's Tail going to be able to hold his positions as Rockside comes right up behind him? Or is he going to let the other marble scare him? You see Volcano jump over that attenuator there as he crossed the line. I don't know if that helped him a lot, but it certainly is now running right up on Ivory's tail. But he bounces through those couple of curves and is now going to struggle. Ivory now moving around Rattlesnake on the outside line. Sometimes that outside line has proven to give more speed to these marbles. And you saw it there as Rattlesnake struggled to stay in front of Ivory there and did not do the end of that lap. We are heading into lap 20 and Ivory is our leader. Rattlesnake certainly not given up by any stretch of the imagination. You can see he's a little bit bouncy right now. When he straightens himself out, he is a true marble to contend with out there on the course. Pacifica has now made an appearance in the top four. Oh, a ram from Nitro into Pacifica has only shot him above Volcano here. Marbles need to watch their collisions out on the course. Collisions are fine. Collisions are great. And there's been an accident evolving Penguin. I'm not really sure what's happening with him. He's in the red here, and he might be out of the race. Is he out of the race? I think he might be out of the race. Are we going to get any sort of replay on that? But here it is. Penguin on the right side spun up and got stuck on the corner of the track. Didn't pop off. But all momentum is gone and Penguin is out of this race. Look at him. He's just sitting there. He's become a spectator on the field. And all you can say for Angel at this point is that she will not finish in 12th. But her fans are hoping she's going to be able to rise above 11th here. But as I was saying before, collisions are amazing out on the course. But if they're used in the wrong way, you can almost push marbles that you're colliding with forward. Fastest lap seems to be with Rattlesnake right now, 19.622. And he's going to stand about 2.7 seconds ahead of Ivory. Let's refocus back on our leaders here. Rattlesnake in first place, followed by Ivory, Volcano, Rainforest, Canaria. Dragon's Tail has dropped back to eighth place. It's been a wild race for him up and down the whole... Rattlesnake seems to be in the clear here, and Ivory is making some moves, but has to gain quite a bit of ground if she's going to make any challenges. 
On the other side of the corner here, Angel is still in trouble down in 11th place. Ivory now only 1.5 behind Rattlesnake. The gap has decreased by about a second. And Rainforest has jumped above Volcano and shown that he's here to race as well. We are into the final lap, lap 27, and Rattlesnake is your leader. Is he going to be able to hold through to the end? Rattlesnake moving around this hairpin here. Second to last hairpin, that penultimate hairpin. Bounces through those curves. The final hairpin is at hand. Around he goes, hitting the edge of that border, and comes across in first place. Ivory follows shortly, about three seconds behind. Rainforest, Volcano, Pacifica, Nitro, Canarium, Rock Slide, Black Shadow. The Rattlesnake taking his victory lap there. And Angel and Dragon's Tail follow suit. Dragon's Tail, unfortunately, ended in 11th place yet again. He started decently and actually made his way up to about third, even second place for a moment, but couldn't close the door. And even Angel was able to finish above him. Rattlesnake also picked up the fastest lap here, happening in tw lap 23 with a 19.6 about. And you can see that Rattlesnake has taken over the standings. Four points above Nitro here. With two podiums so far to his name. Ivory, another solid race for her, finishing in second. And Rainforest, poking his head up into the top, finishing in third. Now is a great time for a couple of lead plays from the race. Take a look at these marbles as they pop out there. Angel immediately moving to the right. Another mistake, as we saw from Rainforest in the first race, that pole sitter tends to dive off to the right as soon as the race begins. And we saw that here with Angel, who then got stuck, bounding between the marbles. Too many collisions. She kind of lost that momentum real quickly. Ivory Nitro were the first to emerge here. The race turned too soon turned in Rattlesnake's way. Rattlesnake is one of the best racers I've ever seen in marble sports. Just the visibility to weave around other marbles. To avoid collisions. That is a great replay right there showing that. A lot of marbles in his way, but actually weaved through them instead of tried to mess up with the collisions. Collisions are helpful, but too many of them can actually dampen your own momentum. And it's not the best way to proceed when you try to get to the top. First place racers in glass car will avoid collisions and focus on moving past marbles. Again, another perfect example of Rattlesnake showing that he is the real deal. Did not even touch those two. Just ran right past them like they weren't even there. And Penguin. A notable Disappointment for him as he gets stuck on the end there. An unexpected change of events for Penguin. He's going to have a lot of work to do if he wants to make up time in Glass Car. But with that, the podium music begins to play, and we will see our victors upon the podium. Rattlesnake again in first, followed by Ivory in second, and Rainforest in third. To round out the podium in Race to a Glass Car. see how proud they are at the top. Proud to represent their fans and their nations. And proud to represent Marble Pubica and Glasscar. The first inaugural season of the competition. Please join us next time for Race 3 of Glasscar.